In this video, we are gonna install and set up the latest version of Kali Linux 2023 and Metasploitable 2 step by step. We are going to set up a complete ethical hacking lab step by step. Now, you might be wondering what is Metasploitable 2, why we are installing it along with Kali Linux. To practice ethical hacking, we need a hacking lab, right, where you can practice your ethical hacking skills. Kali Linux is an attacking or hacking operating system, right? But you can't simply, you know, start testing Kali Linux tools on random systems or websites. This is illegal. So we need an environment where you can practice ethical hacking in a legal environment. So Metasploitable 2 exactly provides that. Metasploitable 2 is also an operating system. It is built to test or practice ethical hacking. It is left vulnerable intentionally so you can practice your hacking skills in your local environment. So I'm gonna start with Kali Linux installation. I'm gonna install Kali Linux on the latest version of VirtualBox which is 7.1. So guys if you are using old version of VirtualBox then update it to the latest version then you will be able to follow along with me because installation steps are different on version 6 and below the latest virtual box offers stability and a lot of new features as well it makes installation very easy and smooth now before installing VirtualBox 7 we need to install Visual C++ because VirtualBox 7 needs Visual C++ to work. So open your web browser and type Microsoft Visual C++ and then visit this link. This is the official link for downloading Visual C++. Scroll down and here we have uh, download links for different architectures i have 64 bit operating system so i'm gonna click on this link to download visual c plus plus if you have a 32 bit system then click on here x86 once downloading is complete then install the file double click on the downloaded file then quickly install it the installation is complete now click on close now we need to download virtualbox so type virtualbox and visit this website virtualbox.org and click on this download button and here you can download virtualbox for your different operating systems windows mac and linux i am on windows so i'm gonna click on windows host hosts so click on the appropriate link then your downloading will start immediately now let's install the virtual box right click on it run as administrator installation steps are very simple click on next next click on yes now click on install now installation is complete now click on finish I'm gonna go with no. Now next thing that we are gonna need is ISO image of Kali Linux. So so go to the Kali.org. Now click on download. Now click on installer images and scroll down. And here we have uh, ISO images for 32 bit and 64 bit. You have to download ISO image according to your operating systems architecture and if you are not sure what your operating systems architecture is then open command prompt and type system info hit enter and scroll to the top and uh, now locate the system type as you can see system type x64 basically denotes uh, the 64 bit operating system and if you have a 32 bit system then you will see x86 so x86 means 32 bit system so once you identify the operating system architecture then download the appropriate image so i have a 64 bit operating system click on this download button your downloading will start right away Alright guys, once downloading of ISO image is complete, then open your virtual box. Now go to the machine, click on new and give a name to your 
virtual machine or Kali Linux first. I'm gonna give just Kali Linux and you can give whatever you like. And this is the default location where Kali Linux will be installed in C drive. But I don't have enough space in C drive. So I'm gonna select another drive. So click on this down arrow. Now click on other. I basically keep all the virtual machines in a separate or dedicated folder. So select the folder. Now click on select folder. Now we have to select the ISO image of Kali Linux. Again, click on this down arrow. Click on other. Now go to the location or folder where you have Kali Linux downloaded. Double click on the ISO image of Kali Linux. Now click on next. Here we have to allocate the random access memory or RAM. Now your question might be how much RAM should I exactly allocate? Well, if you have only 4 GB RAM installed on your system, then do not give more than 1800 MB. 1800 is the maximum if you only have 4 GB and if you have 8 GB 16 or anything above that then you can give 4 GB or 5 GB 4 GB I think is enough for Kali Linux so drag and drop this slider to to the the number that you want to allocate I'm gonna give uh, 3 GB so I'm gonna drop it here at 3 3000 MB as you can see guys we have two lines thin lines green and pink green line indicates the maximum ram that you can allocate and pink means if you drop this slider uh, on this pink line then it will be an invalid configuration your virtual machine will not start so make sure to keep your slider behind this green line now allocate the processors I'm gonna give two processors and Sam goes for processors as well. Do not drop this uh, slider uh, on this pink line. Okay, so allocate two processors. Now click on next and select create a virtual hard disk now. And here we have to allocate the hard disk space. You need to allocate at least 20 GB hard disk space and anything above 20 GB is recommended. So I'm gonna give 25 GB. Now click on next. Now click on finish. As you can see, the virtual machine has been created. Now click on the virtual machine that you just created. Now click on settings and um, click on system. Now here you can basically reconfigure your uh, configurations right once you install Kali Linux you can come here and you know reallocate your resources again now click on display now allocate the video memory I'm gonna give 128 this is the maximum that I can give now click on ok now make sure that you have the virtual machine selected now click on start use down arrow key and select graphical installed press enter now select your language click on continue now select your country again click on continue and select your keyboard layout and click on continue again now give a name to your Kali Linux I'm gonna give sunny now click on continue and leave this blank click on continue again now enter full username for the new user now click on continue now this field is important here we have to create the username so whatever username you enter here will be used to log in so make sure to remember whatever you enter here now click on continue now choose a password and re-enter the password click on continue again click on continue and here select guided use entire disk click on continue again click on continue now here by default it has selected all files in one partition so click on this and click on continue and uh, click on this finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue write changes to disks select yes and click on continue now from this window you don't have to select anything all the required or mandatory options have been selected you can optionally select these two desktop environments gnome and kde plasma but for virtual machines it is not recommended to install you know additional desktop environments it will unnecessarily you know put additional load on your 
resources so let everything be default here and click on continue now Kali Linux is going to take some time to install and set up everything so wait patiently now here select yes install the grub bootloader then click on continue now from here select the second option then click on continue now we are just a few minutes away from the complete installation now as you can see installation is complete now click on continue and Kali Linux is gonna automatically boot now here press enter this is the login panel here enter the username that you created during the installation enter username and password click on log in and we have logged in successfully now let me maximize it now as you can see it is working in full screen mode automatically we don't need to install any external packages to get it working in full screen with virtualbox 7 so this is the kali linux 2023 and it is pretty much same like uh, you know previous version there are no major changes right everything is same except kali has you know added a few more new tools have been added to the uh, version 2023 now that we have kali linux installed it is time to install metasploitable 2 right metasploitable 2 will be used for testing the hacking tools that we have here in the kali linux metasploitable 2 is equally important for you know setting up a ethical hacking or cyber security lab we need to download metasploitable 2 first so open your web browser and uh, type metasploitable 2 download and visit this link sourceforge make sure that you you know download metasploitable from a valid link this is the valid link and once you are here scroll down and as you can see here we have the file metasploitable linux.zip click on the link and your downloading should start right away as you can see my downloading has started i'm gonna cancel it because i already have it downloaded so once the downloading is complete then we need to unzip or extract the downloaded file right click on the file click on extract here and uh, let me open the virtual box the file has been extracted as you can see here now back to the virtual box go to the machine click on new now give a name to your metasploitable machine metasploitable 2 and this is the default location where metasploitable 2 will be installed i'm gonna change this location to d drive so click on down arrow click on others sorry others vms click on select now from type menu select linux from version menu select ubuntu 32 bit now click on next now assign the ram 1.5 gigabytes ram is more than enough for metasploitable right so 1.5 now assign the processors two processors or cpus assign two cpus click on next now select use an existing virtual disk disk file click on the button on your right side we have this icon click on this icon choose a virtual file hard disk file now click on add button now we need to select the file that we extracted here it is metasploitable 2 double click on it now double click on the this file metasploitable now click on choose now click on next finish the virtual machine metasploitable 2 has been created now click on the metasploitable 2 now click on settings and uh, go to the network from this drop down select bridged adapter click on ok now we are almost there again click on the metasploitable 2 click on start it is going to take just a few minutes maybe two or three minutes to complete the 
installation. All right, so setup is complete. Now, as you can see, Metasploitable login. Now, to log in, the default username is MSF admin, as you can see, and password is MSF admin as well. So, type MSF admin username, hit enter, type MSF admin password, press enter. Now, remember the password field will not be visible, right? So, make sure that you type everything carefully. Now, hit enter, as you can see we have logged in successfully it is completely a command line operating system it does not have any gui or graphical interface right now first thing that i'm gonna do is check whether i can you know connect to this machine from my kali linux or not so to do that first we have to figure out the ip address of the metasploitable machine so type if config and hit enter and this is the IP address, INET address 192.168.98213. Now I'm gonna go back to the Kali Linux and open the virtual, uh, sorry, terminal and type ping command and type the IP address of virtualbox 192.168.98.213. So you need to type the exact IP address of Metasploitable 2 as it is shown here, INET address, right? Now let me send it 4 packets. As you can see guys, my Kali Linux machine sent 4 packets to, to Metasploitable 2 and received all the 4 packets. It means the machine is up and running and I am able to communicate to it. Now whenever I have to connect to this machine or attack this machine, all I have to do is use this ip address of metasploitable 2 now back to the kali linux again so open firefox firefox now type the ip address of metasploitable 2 into the web browser of kali linux so ip address is 192.168.98.213 now, as you can see guys i am able to access the metasploitable 2 all right so for practicing web hacking we have a dwa so click, click on dwa and the the default username is admin and the password is password p a double s w o r d in lowercase press enter now as you can see we have logged in successfully to the dwa and for web pen testing it has another inbuilt vulnerable web hacking application called multiliday so click on it now you can test your web hacking skills here as well and uh, apart from inbuilt vulnerable web applications metasploitable 2 has uh, many other vulnerabilities